My name is Rapsony. Welcome back to Into the Breach with the Steel Judoka team. All right, so if I'm going to be throwing people around which ways and everything like that, where do I want to go and who do I want to fight? Hmm. I think maybe the next place I want to go is Detritus Disposal because the charges are going to be real simple to manipulate to fight one another. All right, let's go. Now, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna be doing these bottom ones, try and get myself all of the extra corporate reputation that I can. So on this mission, I need to destroy these acid vats. You can destroy the acid vats by throwing them into the water. So if I stood here and threw them down, I would be able to do that or just by getting anyone else to attack them for me. And seeing as I am playing the Steel Judoka, that's probably how I'm doing. Uh, which is my way of saying that's probably what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to also make sure that I stand a wee bit further away. Yes, here we go. Uh, you should go there and you should go there. Just so that the Leaper can't hook onto any of my characters. Yeah. Well, save for the Judo Mech. But the Judo Mech has a way of deal with that, uh, dealing with them. Woohoo! Time Pod. Don't mind if I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <sighs> now, my initial instinct is go for this. It'll push the acid vat one space over. Then the beetle will run into the acid vat, destroying the acid vat, and the beetle won't do anything past that. I could also use my sidewinder just to punch this leaper. And then have Archimedes move over here and swap the direction of the Alpha Leaper. I could also have the Alpha lead her, uh, Leaper rather, get killed by having Archimedes confuse shot this Leaper. Henry would move. If this moves someone to the left, I could actually sink the beetle as well. That's actually probably better. Okay, so uh, Archimedes flips the direction of the... Actually, probably the Alpha Leaper because it's going to be attacking first. That doesn't work then, does it? No, wait. It does, it does, it does. Okay. So Arily would move over here, hit this building, deal no damage, moves the alpha back one space. Then I would confuse shot this leaper. It would attack the alpha for me. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So now this alpha leaper attacks nothing. The leaper attacks the alpha and does nothing. Uh, and then I can throw this beetle and it runs into the drink and kills itself. Beautiful. Just got to make sure that I have, at the end of all of this, time to destroy those containers. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Now, what do I do here? Seems quite obvious that Henry's going to come over here and make this punch very likely. Yeah. Then Archimedes comes down here and pulls you one space away from where you currently are. Oh, and then I get a bonus move after that. Oh, I didn't even see that. Right. That'll kill one of those for me and then Archimedes. I keep forgetting Archimedes has the ability to move again after shooting. I've got to remind myself of that. Again, we're just leaving this one Leaper on the map, but that's more than fine. It's only one HP. It's quite easy to deal with. 
Unless it hooks a, you know, like a target that I really need not hooked. But I can't imagine why it would possibly even consider doing such a thing. Mm. Unfortunately, that's probably the only way that Archimedes can do that by itself. But then Archimedes gets a move immediately after. The problem I am currently running into is how do I prevent these two at the same time? There's no way that Arily can actually prevent this. And since the Leaper does three damage, I can't actually just let the Leaper live and move the Alpha Firefly over using this shot. The problem is, unless I do something about this Alpha Leaper, it's taking out one of these buildings in the back line. Thankfully, the beetle's not attacking, but here's the scarab also doing something. Uh, okay, what about my Sidewinder? Okay, if I Sidewinder from here... Actually, I think this is what we do. Then Arily moves over. We push one of the... We kill one of them. We push another one into the drink. And then Archimedes gets to move over here and block another spawn for me. And then I can block a spawn manually myself. Beautiful. And then next turn, I have only these two minions on board to deal with. And, of course, that Acid Vat. If I go here, I can just push you into the drink like that. So if Arily goes here... Beautiful. Both the Acid Bat's dead. And then I can just pop you into the drink. Beautiful. All right. I feel like we did pretty well there. 100% of the vats were destroyed and the chemicals released. Our sensors are already picking up diminished VEC activity in the area. We've also recovered a pod and we've got Ralph Carlson, who I'm not going to use, and a reactor core. Like, Ralph Carlson isn't even better than Arily, who already has one mech reactor on it, because it's just plus two mech HP. It's fine. It's not horrible. It's fine-ish. Uh, I think I should probably pick up VEC hormones here, though. Nano silos kill at least seven enemies or end the battle with less than four mech damage and protect the power generator. We'll go with this one just so that we can unlock the other ones that we want to go for. Again, kind of similar to the last time, I'm going to front load my units. You've got more movement, so you're fine. Beautiful. I'm going to front load my units that I really don't care about them being webbed and back load my units that I care about being webbed. Fine. Also fine. Whoa! What the heck was that? Beetle just coming way out of nowhere? I can... I can just throw you back into the water, right? And everything's fine. Now, buildings are immune, so I can do, use this to easily kill one.
one of the problems we're going to have here is if a uh, if a beetle charges into something, it does damage not only to the thing, but then it pushes it back as well. So I don't have the capability of getting the beetle to kill, for example, the leaper for me. I want to go here and throw this beetle. Which should kill it, because it doesn't have massive. And then I can push this scarab into the drink. But then I have these two, the leaper and the beetle, that I would have to deal with. The easiest way to deal with this leaper is... I don't have a way to deal with that leaper. Okay, it would be stand here and then reverse the direction of the leaper. And then I would move down to this point in the way of the beetle take one damage to it and get pushed back so that kills the scarab kills one of the beetles and leaves a leaper and a beetle on the field and i take one mech damage is there any better play than that because to me that's the immediate obvious play and that's not always the best one It seems like it's the most HP that I can get off the field, I believe. That also leaves that unit acidic. Sidewinder is unfortunately not great there. Alright, so I don't have to deal with this Alpha 5 line this turn, but I do have to worry about dealing with the next turn. I can throw the Alpha Leaper onto a block space for me. It's one way of dealing some damage, but it doesn't complete the job. Good gosh, there's a lot of damage that needs to go on here. Now, unfortunately, Aralee's position, if only I'd moved her here for taking that previous shot, that would have been correct. She should have been one space uh, forward from where she currently is. Then I would be able to stand right here and I'd be in a much better position, but. That's not great. That one has full HP as well, so without a push. And the only push would be able to be applied by Arley, who can't do it. Without a push, we're probably actually just taking that charge. Ooh, boy. It is worth noting, however, if we just change the direction that one's charging, it's charging straight into the drink and it dies. So I could actually just move here and then change its direction. But that does nothing to this Leaper, and this Leaper does more damage. That said, like, this is probably the only thing I can really do with Arily this turn, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Alright, Archimedes, you move down. 
flip your direction. So I guess as a result of this, I'm taking one damage from the Scarab, but I can't really see how else I would prevent that. Mm -hmm. Wow! Thank you for spawning there. Gosh, that's useful. Oh boy. Four enemies die from a single uh, from an enemy fire. It is oh from enemy fire rather in a single battle. Right, not from an enemy fire. Got it. Okay. Well. Alpha Leaper, you need to be dealt with. I would really like to do this as well, though. It's fine, I can do that. Sacrifice a wee bit more health on some of my own units. And... Eh. Good. And we also get to use... Uh, leave all of our units in the center of the field as well. Actually, I could have prevented a spawn there as well just by moving over. That would have been a good position, uh, good uh, thing to do. Thankfully, only one building is threatened even this turn. Which means that we should just be fine. Can I make any of them shoot one another? Well, I can make the Soldier Scion get killed by the Alpha Firefly quite easily. That's just a throw. Alright. Beautiful. Didn't do that much in the final turn, but we did kill nine enemies over the course of that. We did take one grid damage, but to be fair, I'm glad we only took one. Uh, the Vecca no more. Another sector has been contained. Kiv, write that in the captain's log. Another sector has been contained. All right, it's so. All right, uh, dis defend the disposal unit. Destroy all mount. All oh, right, this is the. Yep. Mmm, beautiful. Uh, we we actually destroy mountains using a unit called the acid launcher. It also destroys enemies immediately, which means that a team that I don't know for some reason is really good at positioning is going to find themselves really benefited. I'm gonna leave myself in the center of the map so that I have the most leeway with my own movements. It's garbage day. In the back of here, right on time. Two buildings currently being attacked. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I have Henry go here and then push you. You take two damage, and then the Alpha Firefly deals another three to you. It also blocks the Alpha Firefly and kills this beetle. That seems really good to me. Let's have a look at the Acid Launcher. It's probably going here this turn because it gets to kill a unit by doing so. Beautiful. Uh, that also leveled up Archimedes, who now has a mech reactor, which is not really that useful for Archimedes, but it's fine. All right, that's safe now. Ow. 
Arily is about to become acidic. But that's going to result in the Alpha Firefly killing its own soldier scion, which to me, I don't know, seems like a good thing. Another one of us leveled up, and that looks like it's Arily here. Three grid defense. It technically occurred. Yeah, we'll kill you easily. I'll have... I'll take one damage on my disposal unit here. But it will allow me to get acid on this enemy as well as deal one damage to them. We'll destroy the rest of the mountains in this practically free turn and we'll reverse your movement. I really kind of want to block one spawn this turn. But then it'll just spawn the turn after. And I don't want everyone spawning on the final turn. Especially because I don't have any mountains anymore for some reason. Some nut jobs come in here and moved all my mountains. I want the enemies to group up, if at all possible. That's a grouping? Nope. Extremely no. Very much not a grouping. That's fine, though. Archimedes goes up here. Pulls. Both of you die forever. Acid Launcher kills both of these. Arily pushes, and then Henry finishes the job. Simple as heck. And Henry's going to do that manually just to try and get some extra experience. Oh, looks pretty good to me, boss. Two corporate reputation, one power cinched up. Don't mind if I do. As well as two promotions. All right, the power available here in Archimedes. I mean, Archimedes already has a lot of movement, right? Yeah, four by base. Looks like Archimedes also has 3 8 HP already. Guess I'll give Archimedes more movement because movement is super important on that kind of a character. Defend the train. That also seems like it might not be that difficult for the Judoku. Judoku. Uh, still Judoka. The one that can stand most out of position is the gravity mech because it has so much movement. Well, that's garbage. Gonna have to find the right position to sidewind to that one from. Right, because the the Alpha Leaper attacks first, misses. And then the Beetle in the back line attacks and hits. And does three damage. It's not enough to kill. Yes, it is. Just wasn't thinking well enough. All right, we'll also have Nidalee go up here to make sure that... No, but the beetle is going to be... Nope. I'll do the movement. 
The beetle is going to be afflicted by acid no matter where it started. Okay, but if I want to do one damage to that beetle, I've got to start up here. Beautiful, de uh, delectable, and lovely. Mm. How to best remove this beetle? Because it's actually going to be really annoying going onwards. What I'm thinking is I come down... Ooh, Come down here and punch you to the left. It's an easy kill. Then I move Arily over. And she... Bomb... Uh, Arily, you move over here and then bomb this space. It does no damage to Henry Quan, but it does move him to block a emerging Vex spawn. And it also kills this Leaper, which now means there's just the Beetle on the field. And the only thing I can really do to that beetle is change the direction it's attacking. But this this seems pretty good to me. We got a level up on Henry Kwan there. Ooh, extra mech reactor on a person that definitely would like it. Seems pretty good to me. Now I'll go here. I'll flip your action. And then I'm going to move out and block a spawn. And now I'm only going to have two to deal with next turn, which is kind of lovely. How much damage can I actually even deal to these this turn? Probably not that much. Actually, I think I can kill both. We do that. Then our... That'll hit the train. Then we do this. And then we realize we've already moved Henry Kwan, which is going to make life much more difficult for us. Uh, so we reset that turn. We're just trying to get a wee bit more extra experience if we can. We'll also try and have Archimedes actually commit the kill. Beautiful. All right. Train well defended. Goodbye, train. Hope you enjoyed the scenery as I brutally murdered all of these alien bastards. Now we have a wee bit of mech... Reactor on the Judo Mech. I could actually have you get extra move here. That's probably a good idea. We've also got the Hornet Leader. Changing the direction of the Hornet Leader is going to be really handy. And we've got a lot of water down there as well. Okay, life life is like a hurricane here in Ducktown. Or Duckville or Duckburg. I never actually watched that TV show. I've only ever heard people continually quote it. It's one of those second degree quotes. Second degree. uh, Second order quotes, I guess. It's a secondary sourced quote. All right. Not bad. Okay, number one. 
I can make this Hornet leader kill the Alpha Scrab for me. How much damage does the Alpha Scarab do? It does three. Right, so it's going to deal four against the Hornet leader. And it is, what, targeting two spaces away from it. So if I move the Alpha Scarab back one space and the uh, Hornet leader up one space, we'd be fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Solved it. It does two extra damage, actually. There goes the Hornet leader. Easy to drop you into the drink. So Sidewinder here does that. Then you can come down here and drop this one. Beautiful. Sidewinder. Drop you. And then... Easy as pie, the number that is. Now, with only two spawning next turn, we actually want both of them to spawn because we're very likely to be able to deal with both of them. Especially when that happens. Now, I'm actually going to have Archimedes come up here and pull. And this is just... It, it, I know it does mech damage, and I know I don't need to because I can have Henry do it, but I want Archimedes to get all the experience. And we'll just have Henry block one of these spaces. Archimedes blocks another. And since that's the final wave in which they get to spawn, they're dead. Hmm. I'm just trying to engineer it so Archimedes gets the kills. Beautiful. Alright, that was real simple. I love this squad. I gotta be honest, I think Steel Judoka might be my thing. I think it's my jam. Alright, another perfect island. We've also got Camilla Vera. Mech unaffected by webbing and smoke. I love it. What about this? Micro artillery? Uh... No, 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 no. Because I need the Vec hormones. All right. So if we're not going to use it, we always take the pilot and then sell the pilot for extra corporate reputation. I think that's what we're going to be doing here. As much as I love unaffected by webbing and smoke... But you have plus one mech move. You could replace airily. Plus three grid defense isn't that good. Okay. Okay. We're definitely selling Ralph. That's non-negotiable. Let's actually, I think I am trading out airily here. I lose one mech reactor, but I get to sell airily. And by selling airily, I can actually afford one more mech reactor. Boosters is actually really good, but everyone has two quite good things already equipped to them. So let's get four mech reactor here. Now, you definitely have to get one so that you can get buildings immune. I could give you two more in it in order to get the plus one damage on that. I could also put some extra damage on the sidewinder fist, have it do four damage by itself.
Like, I really like the Vec Hormones, but them dealing, you know, two extra damage to other enemies at the moment is good enough. When there's small, like, lonely uh, sections of elites, I'm going to want the extra damage. So I think I'm going to go for two in the Judo Mech, throw it into a plus one damage on the Sidewinder Fist so it does three damage, and then I'm going to hold on to this Reactor Core until I have another one uh, to also throw into the Judo Mech. But instead of installing it now and putting it into, like, health or ally immune from Vice Fist, I'll hold on to it because it's also possible that at some point... Uh, on the next island, I get a bit more information and I go, oh, actually, we really want movement on the Siege Mech, or we really want the extra Vec Hormones, or we want the extra damage on the Cluster Artillery. I don't think any of those are particularly likely, but I think it's more important that I keep that flexibility open than to give two extra health to the Judo Mech, because the Judo Mech, already being armored, is not really having any difficulty right now. For the moment, my name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Into the Breach. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.